Welcome to Brewing Great Coffee at Home. I want to start by thanking the Algonquin College community for tuning in. That's you. And for the Algonquin College Student Services for supporting local small businesses like me. I'm Paul and my business is Brew Bar Espresso Catering. Another one of my favorite brewing methods is cold brew coffee. It's so simple uh, to do. It takes a bit extra time, but uh, it does the brewing overnight for about 12 hours, and the equipment you need is minimal, absolutely minimal. Today we'll be using uh, half a cup of coffee, two cups of water, these two clean jars, one with a lid, and a uh, funnel and a filter as well as my fancy grinder over here, just to save a bit of time. All right, let's brew. All right, I'm gonna add half a cup of coffee. Two cups of water. Make sure you secure the lid on nice and tight. So we're gonna shake it. Shake it to mix it. And then all you need to do is store it overnight for 12 uh, hours minimum. You can play with that time afterwards to see what kind of results you get. But for starters, we're doing it for 12 hours. All you gotta do is take your brewed coffee. And filter it. I'm using a coffee sock filter, which is reusable, but you can use number four paper filter, you could use a uh, batch brew paper filter. So it's uh, really not fussy, as long as you filter it. This part takes a while. You can help it out a little bit with a uh, spoon. All right, now that our filtration process is done, I'll remove that. So now it's produced a cold brew concentrate, which is roughly twice the strength of a regular brewed coffee. Uh, so now it's ready to be used as part of a recipe, which we'll cover in a moment. But uh, the other important thing to know about it is that it keeps for up to a week in the fridge, properly covered and sealed and we'll get to our recipes now. All right, I just got the cold brew concentrate from the fridge. Now let's make some iced coffee. Start with the glass. First put the ice in. Next you put the water, cold water, tap water, filtered water. And there you have it, iced coffee.
For our ice maple latte, fill the glass a little bit less than half full of ice. Two thirds full of milk. A splash of half and half cream. Thicken it up, make it creamy. A splash of maple syrup to taste. And fill the remainder with our cold brew concentrate. And there you have it, your ice maple latte. That's it for today. You can uh, check out our services and book us for events at brewbar.ca. And please stay tuned on Algonquin College Student Services social media for upcoming exciting events. That's it. Thank you very much for tuning in.